I'm going to be showing you all today about all of the new dahlia varieties that we're growing here at Pepper Hero. There's some in a high tunnel, there's some grown out in the field, but I'm excited to share some of these new varieties with you today. So come on, let's go check it out. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. First one I'm going to talk about, I have to, it's Bloomquist Tory P, one of the best blush varieties that I added this year, and it's one that um, I lost my tubers during the tornado, and somebody contacted me, had some extra ones, and I was able to buy them from him, and now I have almost an entire row of Bloomquist Tory P. So this is one that we'll definitely have for sale in our tuber shop. And I'll also be doing propagated cuttings and selling those online to, um, I don't know, probably around March, April time frame. But Bloomquist Tory P, worth the hype. The next one that y'all have been asking about is Bloomquist Blush. And I don't actually have a ton of Bloomquist Blush growing. Come here, May. I don't have a ton of Bloomquist Blush growing, but I have a few. I'm gonna to try to build a, a little bit more stock of this one, but you can see how gorgeous it is. And it's real, it's a real popular one that we are growing this year. And uh, I just need to build up a little bit of stock of it, but it's a really, it's a winner for sure. I better show you a close up of it. The next one is Itara or Itara Diadem. Itara, what do you think? Atari. <laughs> That's what you said, it's not that. <laughs> Uh, it's a new one that I added this year, and we don't usually like the bicolor uh, coloring in this, but it has been a favorite with customers, our employees liked it, it has a really pretty color. The only thing I did notice is we have a few sports. So this is a sport of that same Dahlia tuber, and if y'all know what a sport is, it's when it shoots off a different color, it means it's a little bit unstable. And uh, you can see it does have a little bit of the white. It's trying to be bicolored, but it didn't quite make it. So for sports, I can't decide if I'm gonna end up pulling these out. Adam says pull all of the sports out because he likes the, the Dahlia tubers that stay true to color. But I'm like, this is perfect for wine. Our florist would really love it. I wanna keep it. Either way, it's really beautiful. This beauty is Bloomquist Compare and uh, it might be up there on my new favorite list of blush dahlias. And I have almost an entire row of Bloomquist Compare, so this is definitely one that we're going to be adding to our tuber shop this year. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, we're giving first dibs to our Patreon community, our Big Dreams family, so check that out if you're interested for some early access to dahlia tubers. But Bloomquist Compare, oh my gosh so beautiful. Right behind Bloomquist Compare, I actually have Bloomquist Mojo, which is a new one I added this year. Actually last year, I bought it from Triple Wren. And uh, wow, I was not expecting this color. The picture on Triple Wren, they look almost kind of reddish. I guess it does have a little bit of red, but it's really more of an orangey undertone here. At least that's where for us here in zone 5B. Sometimes by zone, the colors vary a little bit in the dahlias that you grow, but here it has red, but a nice, nice warm uh, orange undertone, but it's a really beautiful color. This is K.A. Snow Joe, and it's just a white dahlia, but I love how the petals are formed. I love how big the head size is. It's really, really beautiful. This is K.A.'s Bella Luna, and uh, I did confuse it with K.A.'s Snow Joe. I love all K.A.'s varieties, and if you don't know what K.A.'s varieties are, K.A. stands for Christina Albrecht from Santa Cruz Dahlias, and she is the hybridizer of those particular varieties. So if you ever hear me say K.A.'s, it's Christine from Santa Cruz Dahlias. Y'all went a little crazy last year when I showed you Holly Hill Pinky. Uh, but I have Holly Pinky, Holly Hill Pinky again, uh, thanks to some nice hookups from some Dahlia growing friends who sent me tubers. Holly Hill Pinky was another one of those that I lost in the tornado, but 
luckily uh, my grower friends came around me and helped support me and I now have Holly Hill Pinky again. It is so beautiful, but I just realized how much Holly Hill Pinky actually looks like Sefton Silvertop. White and pink variegation in here and the, the little pops of hot pink. So gorgeous. This is Dicara Superb and Dicara Superb is a new one. I actually think this might be a UK variety. I'm not sure you guys are gonna have to correct me if I'm wrong on that, but Dicara Superb is a new dahlia that I'm growing this year. It's a little bit smaller for the size of the head, but the color is kind of this amazing peachy, uh, I don't know, I don't even know what color it is. Like very heavy on the peach, but the color is so unique and beautiful. It kind of has maybe like a mauve on the center. I was gonna say it's a mauvey peach. Oh, again, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love it so much and it has been blooming since day one and if you all have been following me you know that these dahlia tubers were not put in the ground until july 20th so the fact this thing has been blooming so much is absolutely incredible it shows that what a good bloomer and performer it is in the garden when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun this is Normandy Wedding Day. It is one that I don't think you you would like, Adam. I mean, you don't really like the cactus no, form. Yeah. But uh, Normandy Wedding Day, I absolutely adore it because it has this white tone and then it has that blushy center. It's kind of a unique look with this cactus. We don't grow a lot of cactus varieties here and it breaks up, like if I'm using a lot of ball shapes of dahlias, it breaks up the shape a little bit. I have something a little different to work with, which I really love. It looks so unique and gorgeous. So I'm curious, do you guys like Normandy Wedding Day? Comment below. It's one that I think is worth adding into the garden and another one that another grower hooked me up with this year that I wouldn't have grown this otherwise, but I'm glad I did because it's absolutely incredible. I'm not a big fan because it looks like a bad hair day. How dare you? <laughs> this is Clearview Lila and eh, I don't know. I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of the lavender, but the form and the dahlia itself is really beautiful, but um I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep Clearview Lila or not, but it was really fun to watch it growing. Over here, we actually have Westerton Ella Grace. Pull that off so you can see the bloom a little bit better. This is Westerton Ella Grace. And wow, it, it has a lot of lavender in it too, but this is a bloom I absolutely love and you can see how beautifully it's performing. This is end of season. We're getting ready to dig our dahlias up. Um, we have actually a frost coming this weekend. So at this point, we're just like, we're just cataloging and marking all of them on where they are, and then we'll start digging them up. This is Sylvia Craig Hunter, and Sylvia Craig Hunter has an enormous bloom with the most gorgeous kind of rust colored orange, kind of a more of a muted orange. Sylvia Craig Hunter, absolutely gorgeous. And I think it's one of Adam's favorites that we grew for some of the new Dahlia varieties. It's a beauty. She's a beauty, Clark. So good. Growing right next to Sylvia Craig Hunter and the row beside it is BJ's Dusty Rose. And we kind of get some different colors with BJ's Dusty Rose, but this is uh, one of the color variations that we get. We can show you some, they kind of vary from this darker pink to lighter pink. You can kind of pass it off sometimes as blush, uh, especially as the bloom ages, but I love BJ's Dusty Rose and I think the shape is really incredible. This is Clearview Janae and um, if all of you have not grown clear view Janae, I highly recommend it. You can see how tall and straight it is. The stems are really thinner. They're a lot, they're thin and easy to use. Thin but sturdy. See, sometimes they can be too thin where they're kind of floppy, but these are tall, sturdy stems. Clear view Janae is the perfect dahlia for cutting and using in bouquets. Um, I could take this and put it in a market bouquet because look, it's almost five feet tall. I mean, not quite, but maybe, do you think? I guess. Uh, that's probably about four feet. Uh-uh. But look. nobody wants a four foot tall It comes bouquet, up here. I'm five six and it comes up to my, almost to my chin. You know, in other areas, these will probably grow taller than five foot yeah. um, here because we did plant them so late. They're a little bit dwarfed. They're shorter. 
like Clearview, Janae, I have no doubt that this gets like over six foot in many areas. Oh shoot, up in the Pacific nor Northwest, it'd be up to the ceiling of this greenhouse probably. Seriously, but it's I, a jungle out there. I really like the color and we have a florist. We love her dearly. She often asks for wine or plum and this could pass as either wine or plum, don't you think? Yeah. Like it has a really nice purpley undertone or more low. It is so beautiful. Clear view, Janae. The hybridizer did a great job. I really love this dahlia. This is K.A.'s Mocha Joe. And uh, admittedly, I have K.A.'s Mocha Joe growing everywhere. I'm waiting for some more varieties to bloom out because I need to get them labeled. They're just kind of growing in this entire row. This is kind of my K.A.'s row. But uh, I call it my blendy pen dahlia. It's like one of those dahlias that's a wonderful bridge no matter what kind of colors you're working with. It blends into any centerpiece and just really adds this like sophisticated blendy color tone, don't you think? I think so. Um, especially like if you're working with like a mustard or that buttery yellow that everybody is obsessed with these days. This is a wonderful bridge in that color palette and anything brown or terracotta also looks really amazing with it. This is K.A.'s Blood Orange, and a lot of people are not very interested in orange. However, uh, I had a lady, a florist, coming out, and she was looking for something to go with coral tones for a wedding. And K.A.'s Blood Orange is what she picked. She actually picked orange, she picked some coral tones, and she picked some pinks. And they looked amazing with the, the coral bridesmaids dresses. So. Um, K.A.'s Blood Orange, a favorite here at Pepper Harrow of some of the new Dahlia varieties we grew. This beautiful variety that I'm going to first show you growing out in the wild in the middle of nowhere, again, planted on July 20th. Here they are, they're looking amazing. But this is Strawberries and Cream, one of the new favorites that we added that I really wanted to highlight in this outdoor growing area that I wanted to show y'all today. This is Quiet Splendor, uh, a dahlia that passes as blush, but Adam says it looks yellow. <laughs> it looks a little antique to late season, I guess. Quiet Splendor is a, this is like an early bloom, but it's a perfect uh, blush option and it grows amazingly and blooms a lot. I'm like, this is going to be a valuable addition to the garden. We hope you enjoyed our tour of our new dahlia varieties that we're growing this year on the farm. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. That's the biggest compliment you can give us. And oh, a nice comment too. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> totally. And we'll see y'all next time. As always, thanks for joining and happy growing. It's just
just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me.